Thank you, Lisa. All right, we are here at halftime, and in the halftime hot seat is Lene Harper. Welcome, Lene. Thank you. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Now, you are coming off your best game as a professional, seven points against Minnesota. Take me through that game. Like, what was it like as you were getting more minutes, as you were contributing, making shots? That had to be a dream for you. Oh, it definitely was a dream come true. Uh, just being able to play with these amazing ladies and having great teammates and amazing coaching staff. But it was great. Uh, I've been in practice every day just preparing for this moment, and uh, I was glad that I was able to contribute on our win. Okay, talking about dreams, you are from Chicago, went to Whitney Young, and now you are here playing professional basketball in your hometown. What is that like? Oh, it's a blessing. Uh, I'm just truly grateful to be here, especially in my hometown. Uh, I have so many friends and family that come out to the game to support, uh, and I'm just happy that I can uh, be a part of this organization and play here. A lot of fans of women's basketball, girls' basketball in this area know the tradition at Whitney Young and what you guys were able to do there. What? Tell me some of your uh, best memories of your high school days. Oh, uh, we've had so many accomplishments just playing basketball. Uh, my junior year, we won state there. We went undefeated, 34-0, uh, four-time city champ. So um, <laughs> it was amazing just being a city girl, playing for Whitney Young, and being able to play here for Chicago South, my hometown. And sometimes those city championships are just as important as the state championships, oh, right? Oh, they're very, yeah. very important. <laughs> so I'm grateful to have four of those, too. Tell us about what you think some of your best attributes are. What is going to make you a good professional over the years? Uh, I just think just doing the little things, uh, just bringing toughness to the game, hustling, just being a great teammate, and just contributing to any way in the game that I can, whether that's offensively, defensively, uh, bringing something on the bench, energy, whatever my team needs, I'm, I'm ready to give it to them. Give me some tips for a young player out there um, who is trying to learn the game and, and has big goals like you, big dreams. What are some things that that player can do to, to get to where you are now? Oh, most definitely. Uh, just stay confident. Uh, be confident in whatever that you do on the court. Study the game. I did that a lot. And uh, just doing all of the little things. If you do the little things, it'll make up a beautiful big picture. So I think that's one thing that I did when I was younger to help me get here. And uh, most importantly, never give up. If you stay just the course and prepare and stay hard and work hard, everything will come true. What's your, your favorite drill to do still, even to this day? And maybe something that you did in high school? You know what? Uh, I like defensive drills. I think just in general, those are my favorite favorite drills to do. Defensive drills? Yeah. Like defensive slides? Yeah. Get out of here. I, I, I love it. You know, <laughs> just coming from a tough program in high school and then through college, I think being a defensive player just grew on me. So now I, just, I love playing defense. So Stephen Bardo, who usually does this interview, mm -hmm. talks about music with the players. Like what's, you know, what kind of music do you like? What's in your car? But Ooh. I switched it up last uh, time with Allie Quigley and we talked about food. I'm going to switch it up with you and we're going to talk about fashion. Oh, what is your go-to outfit or your go-to clothes? Like, what do you really feel comfortable in? What do you always look for in your closet most? Uh, not necessarily clothes, but I'm a sneakerhead. Okay. I love shoes, so whatever shoe I pick out, it definitely will match with my outfit. But uh, I like wearing jeans, you know, nice flashy shirts to definitely match my sneakers. So, but I'm a sneakerhead. So I was going to ask you, do you have an embarrassing number of anything, like an embarrassing number of sneakers, jeans, sweatshirts, like just over the top, way too many? I have way too many. I have over 85 pair of sneakers. 85? Yeah. Seriously? Seriously. No one needs 85 pairs of no sneakers. No one. And I'm still buying <laughs> today. I probably need to slow down a little bit. You probably do. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us at Halftime, Lynette. Thank Pleasure. you for having me. Yep, absolutely. Okay, don't go anywhere. We're back with more Halftime after this.